And my name is Dominic. I am a true sake geek, and this is my story. In 2011, I tried premium sake for the first time. I was determined to discover how rice and water could taste so delicious. So I read all I could and then headed to Tokyo to study with sake evangelist expert and author John Gautner. Touring breweries around Japan and seeing the craftsmanship, hard work, passion, and centuries of knowledge that goes into making Nihonshu sparked my curiosity even further, and I came home hooked. I began working at a craft sake brewery and bar in North Carolina, introducing and educating new customers to craft sake and seeing the challenges that face a small sake brewer in the U.S. were valuable experiences. During this time, I also had the privilege of interning at a very interesting sake brewery in Norway called Nurgna Ur. It was my first chance to really get my hands wet working in an established brewery, and I loved it. Upon returning, I opened a small retail sake shop in western North Carolina called Sakeyama. We were the first sake-only retail shop in the state. For a year, I ran workshops, tastings, and sake pairing meals in the Asheville area. I made some great friends and more than a few new sake drinkers right there in craft beer country. I returned to Japan again, studied some more, visited some more breweries, and met some very passionate and inspiring people working in the sake industry from all around the world. Then in the summer of 2017, on a cycling trip around Hiroshima and Shikoku, I met the toji of a small brewery who was gracious enough to accept me as an intern. And returning from this experience, I felt that I had to do something to share what I've learned so far and to spread the love of sake to whomever would listen. So I decided to begin sharing sake with the world as the Sake Geek. I really hope you enjoy it. <laughs>